Why does the Green Goblin hate Spider-Man? Green Goblin first showed up in The Amazing Spider-Man number 14 with his original goal to be the head of crime in New York City. Now, Norman Osborn, the father of Peter's friend Harry Osborn, wouldn't end up being formally introduced until The Amazing Spider-Man number 38, and he wasn't revealed as the Goblin until the next issue. Norman is an unstable egomaniac that has always gotten what he wants to the point that it's a compulsory feeling. Norman wants a worthy heir for his empire, and looking over his own son, Peter is the ideal choice. But Peter ain't about it. Osborne eventually uncovers the Peter and Spider-Man duality, so the hero who foils all of his criminal plans is also the guy who rejected him. Because of all that, Green Goblin's new goal in life may just be to drive Peter Parker to the point of despair. And then the true turning point between Green Goblin and Spider-Man was ultimately the cataclysmic death of Gwen Stacy, which has more layers than you may want to actually know.